There's a fish. Oh my gosh, it's oh, tail walking, dude. What are you looking for? I'm looking for tails. So man. you know that you can't actually see steelhead with your eyes? You have, like, you can't see them. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Joseph Evans. If you're new here, welcome back to Travel Fish Film. This is my best friend. What's up, everybody? I'm Bradley. Bradley Funkhauser. Welcome to it. Going, uh, going steelheading today. Dude. You're stoked. We drove up here to see the Spay Clave, hosted by the House of Fly and Red Shed Fly Shop. And the Fly Project. And the Fly Project. We have arrived a couple days early before the event to swing for some steelhead. We're just gonna car camp, bumming it. We ended our guide season at Peekaboo Angler yesterday and we couldn't be more excited to get the waders on, go throw some long casts. It's time to spay fish, dude. dude bring, bring this is one of our favorite things to do. In. Just let the, let the worries. Everything just like goes away. Clouds just roll on by. And we do have good weather. Cast swing. cast swing step, baby. All right, you guys. I'm gonna be starting with a Project One. This is a 12 foot six, six weight from my friends over at the Fly Project. This is what I use in British Columbia. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click right here. Super rad trip. This is the next steelhead video. Even if we don't catch anything, it's still gonna be a great video going to the Spay Clave event and we got two and a half days full of swinging. So fingers crossed you guys do get to see some steelhead. Joe and I are so different. We've been, we've, been, we've been best buddies since we were 15, but like he's a guy that gets there and just starts throwing everything on the ground and just like he'll set up a rod and then he'll grab his reel and then he'll throw all the flies on the ground and his waders are everywhere. And I'm someone that's like waders, rod, reel, flies, <laughs> done. It's and I do, you do operate. waders it's first. Funny how we operate. Yeah, I do waders first and you do waders very last. <laughs> All right, y'all, good morning. It's the first morning of swinging for steelhead. No grabs last night, probably fished for about two hours. I have a super calm, shallow, slicked out tail out here before a super juicy run. <clears throat> swinging a poly leader to a small little black and blue intruder pattern with marabou, and I'm just gonna cast probably two three times in one step this really work it slow and then we'll start fishing the gut and the head of that next run that was a fish that just rolled just heard him i should probably get fishing let's go and right away i came huh and I'm proud of where I came from and only, only on the radio. Tips and tricks for steelhead fishing. Let's go. Number one, I think feel good, fish good, stay in the water longer. Definitely take your time to get set up, get comfortable, have the right clothes, layering, whatever, feel good. Don't, you, don't get in and out a lot. That way you stay in the water and you fish it confidently and steelhead fishing is a lot of confidence. If your fly's hanging below you, you are fishing. Tip number two, if you're fishing with a buddy and you haven't started catching fish yet in terms of you haven't found what is working, we're currently still trying to figure out what's working. We have two different flies on, a little bit, two different setups, two different depths, so spread out and we'll both swing two different colors two different ways and if we get an eat or two eats or three eats on one setup that's how we'll know double it up basically what he's saying is cover more water bingo it is morning one day two no fish yet but been swinging our life away and there's zero complaints 
just stay tuned because if the GoPros, if you see one of these looking down and it gets starts getting quiet or music starts picking up, it's a good thing. <laughs> That'd be Got him. I got him. I got one. I'm on. I got one. Joe! 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 Hey, go catch the drone up. He's hooked up. He's hooked up. It's a giant too. It's a giant. He's hooked up, baby. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, this is amazing. I'm shaking beyond belief right now. I'm hooked up on a steelhead. I'm gonna take my time, keep the pressure. It's gonna go, it's gonna go. I'm on her. We did it. Dude, oh, it's a giant. Look at I'm up at the car. I'm like, dude, just finish this run. I'm gonna get some drone shots and then meet me back up at the truck. I was like, but keep fishing. Look at, <laughs> it looks like I'm so nervous. So look at how so nervous he looks. I'm just so like taking it in right now. Oh my God. It's dude, it's a big, 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 big chrome fish. So, you're good. Just keep swinging low into the side. Doing a good job. Joe. It's a big fish. No! Oh, that's okay. Oh, man. That was insane. They do that right there. Steelhead experience. Dude, that's what we oh, come here to do. Man. Is get that grab. So what do we do talk now? About, dude, talk about the grab. What happened? Dude, I just... Cast is in the middle, right in the gut, right where it's supposed to be. And it was like, ba ba ba. Oh, I wanted to touch it, but that was cool. Oh, just so you guys know, that fish was probably between 34 and 36 inches. Big fish. That was. Huge and that was a fish. female chrome fish. That's what he hooked it on. That's so cool. That's so freaking cool. That it ate that. It's insane. That's crazy. Oh I'm my god. Sorry, gosh. buddy. Dang it. At least I could come down and... Yeah, I was happy you were here. I been sucked. If you weren't here, I would have really been, like, bummed because then I would have, like, lost it by myself. No one would believe me. <laughs> oh, I guess the GoPro got it. <laughs> cool. All well, right. that's what we came here to do. Well, so, good job. Joe's turn now, hopefully. Wow, what do we do? Let's, let's probably stay. <laughs> we're just going to leave. <laughs> Spot change. Whole new run. Let's see what happens. Down, 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 got me living on a tightrope. Got me going down, 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 got me going like Really? You're a gem. You gotta know this. You gotta know this. You know. Your time and energy. There's a fish. I think Brad's on. I think Brad's on, dude. Dude, I think Brad's on. He's running right at me. <sighs> I'm coming! We're on the rocks, baby. Because he's on. I gotta tail this thing for him. No way! No way! Steal it on, dude! It's running, it's running, it's running! 
Dude, it's so far away. No. No way, dude. Oh my god! Is it a hot one? Dude, look at it out there. Dude, let him run, let him run. Oh. Oh. What? He's ripping you. Let him run. He'll tire out. In my back end. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, what happened? Dude, just went tight in the middle of the run. I'm like knocked. I didn't even know it was a fish. And I just worked through all of this. You followed me up, boy. That a boy. Dude. That's how you do it. Way out there. I don't know what to do. <laughs> you don't know what to do? I'm trying to make up some ground, but dude. Unbelievable. Joe. Joe. Following me up. This fish is going crazy. This is a smaller fish, so it's fighting differently than that like big one. maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Still a, still a steelhead. Still a steelhead, dude. Whoa. Great. Oh my gosh, it's oh tail walking, God. dude. Oh, <laughs> pay attention. When this happens, I kind of want to try to beat it a little, yeah. a little better than we did before. Cool. All right, man, I'm gonna land this one for you. <laughs> Easy here. Jeez. Soon, as soon as I touch it. Let him run, He's it's pulling tissue hard. There you go, good job. Up over this rock. Okay. Got it? Got him. No way, there wild. You go. wild. Wild. Wild fish, buddy. Dude. No way, just leave a look at wild fish. This is everything you, have, you can want in a steelhead. Oh. Wow. This is a perfect fish, dude. Wow, bro. This is amazing. Look at it. You ever seen anything like that, huh? Look at that. Oh. Yes! Dude. Yes! Two fish in one I day. Got a hot hand. It's you have the fly, hot, bro. dude. That fly, and they like love the rig, that thing. The rig is right, dude. It's hot everything's poly, right. It's light. They're in Buddy. the system. They're here. Like, of course. <laughs> I'm so freaking grateful. Oh my that, gosh. What that, a way to like make me feel better about myself to losing that big one, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, it's so gorgeous juicy. run. It's just walking speed, big boulders in it randomly. Okay. No, no, don't feel terrible. Let's go to the store, and I want to buy a couple before they close. Yeah. We're gonna go to the Red Shed Fly Shop and buy a couple flies, but hey, I I looked down. I thought you had like a trout because it was like kind of no, right. Dude. I thought too at first. I was like, what? It what? was splashing really close to you, <sighs> and then all of a sudden I see like more splashes, more splashes, and then I hear I hear your voice. I know your voice when you start going. Whoa! No, you go like whoa, whoa, like oh whoa, whoa, <laughs> and all of a sudden I see it splashing no, on the other I side know. of the river. I was like, oh my God. Going somewhere. Fought, Elated. That fish fought way different than your other oh one. Oh my god, it is a different fish for sure. That other but it was because it was its, wild. It, the other fish used its its weight, and that fish used its like swimming its ability. Swimming. Yeah, it was like, oh, I'm just gonna try to outmaneuver it. And uh, didn't he eat like right as your right as your right right after the cast? Right so as it picked up every speed. Every time, right in exactly the gut, right where you're supposed to be. Every time, both my eats today. Right as it picks Perfect. up speed. Wham! That, I think I have that on camera too. Hopefully. <laughs> I have. Now I had two, two eats. One landed, one not landed. Got really close, and they're both of those have been on like really natural small bugs, not the big fancy steelhead stuff. So we are headed to Poppy's Fly Shop, Red Shed, to go to go look at some bugs and get Joe a little more dialed because we just want to be more confident. We are talking about that on our tips and tricks for steelhead fishing. Confidence is a big one. And here we are, gonna go get the flies to feel confident. It's always gonna be prepared and have the right stuff, right? Right. Right. I've been fishing more of like marabou intruder stuff. And I kind of had one traditional spay fly that just got a really shiny hook. And you know, we call the local fly shop. That's what they're there for. We work in a fly shop as well. And we called them asking what they would recommend. You know, I had a big bright pink fly on. He says, man, I would really go natural. I would downsize and I would fish 
high in the column. And sure enough, here we are going to the fly shop to just revamp my setup. Bradley's last fish tore up his fly, so we're making the extra drive. We're not in the water, so we're not able to catch him, but we're gonna try and be quick and get right back in. Yeah. Believe it or not, look who we just bumped into. Ran into a legend. This is Crew yeah, here. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> and in the Red Shed Fly Shop, like one of the most iconic fly shops, truthfully. How long has this place been here? Longer well, than the dirt out front. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all as picking long out as bugs. There's been a ditch out there, this place is here. He comes into Peekaboo Angler and Just does his job shit. doing his sales rep, selling Chad stuff, and now here we are picking out steelhead bugs. So, small yeah, world, dude. Hey, Chorney. Gonna, yeah, get it. Your guys are getting it done. Yes, sir. <laughs> I did not know the name of this pattern that has picked up two of my fish today, okay. um, but it's called a Beats Me. And so what I'm gonna do is make sure it's identical. Let's get a couple, please. Make sure it's identical the same, and it is. You kinda see that? A little bit different style of the hook, but I don't think it's gonna matter. So. They're good, the numbers are good. There's a bunch of, we're having our spay clave this weekend. There's a bunch of people here, but. What do you think, Tim? You got a good lineup? I think, uh, I think I got enough There's flies. a few people, I mean, <laughs> it's starting to get here we go. Going again. Round. Back into the fray. <laughs> got the right flies, got the right setup for, for Joe Beans here. Everything matters. Oh, here. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, let's go. Let's go. Stepping in right here. I'm fly fishing. We'll focus here. Go ahead. Roughly so. Yep, go ahead. Yep, yep. All right, you guys, what's up? Just a little update for you. Um, no luck on that swing. I just went ahead and switched up to a little black hobo spay fly. And this is gonna be a great pattern as it gets darker out. I wanna upgrade my profile from the traditional spay fly a little bit and add a little bit of dark, you know, black color to it. So let's see how this works for the last probably hour and a half, hour of swing in here. That's steelhead fishing. Dang it, I'm gonna check my hook and get it right back in there, but that was a fish. I, he hit it, I let him, kept swinging, he hit it, hit it, hit it, and he was on. I went to the side, I had him. I absolutely had him. Oh, it's crazy, man, you wait so long, you cast so many times the same way for that one grab, and everything has to go right. Such a small hook and fish that can get upwards of 40 inches long. Everything has to go perfect. But there he was. I gotta get back in there, but. Oh yeah, look at this, all my fur. Look at the, look at the tail. Dude, the tail's all foot angled. Oh no!
Good morning, everybody. Here is the 2021... 2020? What year is it? Three. Okay. Good morning, everybody. This is the 2023 Red Shed Poppy Spay Clave event. We're hanging out with the House of Fly, the Fly Project. It's a beautiful day for Steelhead. Everybody's here. We're just happy. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Hold up, sorry. It's about 8 in the morning. Everybody's kind of showing up and getting ready for the event, so... It's looking like it's going to be a good day. What do you think, Joe Beans? Hey, babe. No fish yesterday, but I had a grab. It's okay. And now we're here I've at the event. I got to watch it. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> what's Speaker better, boys. <laughs> well, we've had such a great turnout that Caden here. This is Caden. Hey guys. He manages the fly shop over in. Spokane for North 40. Go check him out if you ever go in there. You know his face. But we uh, we gotta get about 100 more burgers, 100 more patties, 100 more cheese slices. So we're just making a quick midday uh, restock. Because the turnout's so good. So these are good things. Atlanta, look at this. 100 burgers, 50, <laughs> 50 hot dogs, 50 buns, chips. Yeah, it's good. I think three's good. Because not everyone got chips. Okay, and then. <laughs> Mission accomplished, baby. Look at the back of this. <laughs> it's me and some cool friends, guys. Go ahead and follow them. Right up here, I'll have their tags up above us. Joe, we casting the new saga? Yeah, man. This is the new Fly Project uh, saga. This is a 12 foot six you see nine that? weight. Yeah, it's a sweet rod. Whoa. I like the detail on it. They got the, I like good, the, finish. They got the good luck finish right here. Look at that. I like the, the yeah, that's nice. The palm is super sweet. All right, dude. Yeah, and this is the new Ballistic Express 910 line. This thing is kind of sick. So this nine weight feels more like an eight, Calvin said. And yeah. I don't know how to cast. <laughs> <laughs> it feels nice, but I'm not really sure if it's working. Whoa. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Whoa! You only eat like threadfin little minnows, yeah. and they eat like blueback herring, like yay big. So this is when you're throwing them when they're eating about anything. When they're so eating everything, yeah. I throw these, and I'm fishing these on like, you know, Probably like Todd. Little time. Where do we meet the fish? What? Dude, Blair, that was crazy. Am I so fast? Well, it is. Okay, update. Time check. Always. 3:07 p.m. That turnout was incredible. I mean, we were there since 7 a.m. and it went by like that because and it was buzzing the whole time. Buzzing. It's presenting like their tips and tricks and I mean it, the, the best way to learn spay casting is to watch someone do it and then do it after them I think yeah because it's a feel thing for sure but you kind of got to see it happen it's amazing fly tires it just gets you super stoked for steelhead and uh Joe and I were just talking about how how like how crazy it is that this fish means so much to so many people I mean there were there were easily 300 people there today and every single one of them have 
in once in their life have had an impact because of a steelhead. These older guys, truthfully, don't even care to catch something. They just want to go out there and just sit in the river and make beautiful casts, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's super cool. But believe it or not, we have one more swing left before this video is over, you guys. We hope you've enjoyed it so far. Got to see Bradley catch two fish. Got to see the spay clave. I got a grab yesterday morning. I got a grab. He's doing pretty good. Two and a half hours of fishing in the evening. We're going on the boat with Calvin and Sam. And I don't know who else is going, but it should be fun. Yeah. Let's go. This is uh, something. This is what it looks like at the end of a uh, couple is... of days of living out of your truck and then you get into the hotel room and things start to get back on track. But uh, Brad had a grab tonight. I had uh, a grab. I had no grabs, but it was a fun night swinging with the crew and had a blast. I had a really good time. We had so much fun. Still had fishing is so fun. Especially when you got friends around to mob and fish with and swing a run in front of and behind and for sure. fantasize over makes what it color all, they want to oh, eat. It makes it all a little bit more fun. Absolutely. Get to fish with your buddies. If you guys haven't stealed fish before, you should totally do it. And I think that's a wrap. Brad? Yeah, I think that's a wrap for it. We for appreciate you coming out. We have some uh, other stuff we need to attend to and you'll see these videos all very soon. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. <sighs> Comment and subscribe. Yeah. If you're new. Say something nice. Say something not nice. If you, if you see something, see something you want to see more of, please <laughs> let us know. Really uh, up to you guys, but uh, we appreciate the views. Absolutely. Have a good day. You guys have a great one. Yeah. We'll catch you on the next video. See ya. Peace. Bye. Bye.